Welcome back everybody for another episode of The Forest. Now we have a new update. We are at version 0.65 and well subsequently 0.65b with the hotfix. So today let's take a look at some of the new features we have with the update. Okay, one of the first new features you're going to notice is we now have a 64-bit launcher. That means that if you have a ton of RAM in your system the way I do, you can take better advantage of it by using the 64-bit launcher and be able to play hopefully a lot better when performance-wise. Just in case you don't have a 64-bit system though, we still have a 32-bit launcher included and available. We now have a few changes to the flare gun. For one thing, we also have an aiming sight, just as we do with the flintlock pistol. And we have a new reload animation and sound for the flare gun. We also now have a damage system that applies to the animals and a few of the bodies around the island, including that of the stewardess on the plane, where as you deal damage to them, you can actually see the blood occur in the appropriate spots, allowing you to see where you've done injury to them and see that you actually have injured them. In addition to the new bleeding uh, effects, we also have some new skin texturing for when you skin animals. Okay, one of the most noticeable changes now, at least cosmetically, is that the cannibal villages are going to have a more lived-in look. We have a large number of new decorations in the cannibal villages to give the, you know, idea that they are actually living there. We have chairs, we have stools, we have uh, buckets or, you know, kind of bowls. But we have all this sort of stuff scattered around the cannibal camps now to make them have that more lived-in feel to them. Unfortunately, right now, there is no way to steal some of this stuff to take back to our own base uh, to use for decoration. And I honestly don't think that will ever be the case since we have such a large emphasis on decorative building as well. Another change that was made is that they have lowered the volume of the chainsaw, or at least they say they have. I don't think they've lowered it much. Based on my limited use of it though, since the fits for the unlimited fuel glitch, uh, so I can't really say for sure how much quieter it is, but it does seem to be slightly quieter when in use. One last thing they have changed, which unfortunately I don't have the option to show you yet, is they have improved the end game boss with a new attack and made the boss harder, and the boss, the boss will also scale if you're playing on a multiplayer server so that it can adjust based around how many players are in the room. Okay, now that we've talked about the new features, let's talk about some of the new bugs that have been introduced. For one thing, there was apparently a bug with some of the walls, as far as like the, the defensive walls and gates, not uh, building anymore with the initial release, so they fixed it in the hot fits. However, when I noticed there was something wrong with my base when I first logged in after the updates. And I, it took me a minute to pinpoint it. I actually had to go back and look at my old videos just to make sure I wasn't losing my mind. And there is actually a problem now that you can see here. My windows, some of them are gone. Some of the windows I had in my outer walls, mainly on the uh, lower level of the base, have disappeared. I've also noticed a problem with the stone walls, the uh, rock walls. As you can see here, I have two gaps in the rock wall that have just appeared apparently from whatever change they made causing the walls to shift and making it where there's now gaps in the wall. Now during my off-screen time, I finally got around to adding a set of stairs down to the beach so I could go down and do a little midnight swim and play with the sharks if I want to. And as you can see, I have two uh, skull torches here, the standing ones. Each of them was at the very edge of the rock wall. As you can see, the one on the right is at the edge of the rock wall, but the one on the left is no longer at the edge because the rock wall has now shifted further down. Now, these changes to the walls have also extended to my original base, mainly in the defensive and rock defensive walls I have out front. The actual wooden defensive walls didn't seem to take any changes, but as you see, part of my rock wall that aligned the inside, especially going up hill on this little incline, is now completely screwed up. It's been shifted all around, and it just looks terrible. So I'm hoping that whatever they did to try and fix the uh, glitch they had with the uh, 0.65b, that they will now fix this new glitch they've added in, and it will readjust the walls back and give me my windows back, because... That did 
have a very negative cosmetic effect on everything. Okay, so now that we've covered all the new features and new bugs from the update, let's talk about what I've been doing in the off-screen time. Okay, as you can see here, my sanity now is up to 66%, whereas at the end of last episode, after I got done recording and was heading back to this base, I found out that I was down to 41% sanity. And it's got to be mostly because of all the cannibals I've been killing and burning. Maybe not so much me killing them directly, but at least burning the bodies. And also that my sleep cycle is still severely messed up. Now, you can see it's getting towards the end of the day. I slept through the night at normal time. Like if it was, you know, night time, I went to bed at 10 p.m. I slept till morning. And now you can see how far away I am from being able to sleep again. You know, if I sleep, go to bed at 10 p.m. this night, the next night it's more like 4 a.m. before I can go to sleep again, and then it's middle of the next day. So my sleep cycle is completely thrown off right now. I've also added a fourth water collector because with all the time I spent in the Cannibal Village, it didn't rain. And I came back and all three of these were completely bone dry. I had to go and grab water to boil to have to drink. And right after I did that, it finally started raining again. But I built me a fourth one just as a precaution. I've also been gathering a lot of sticks and feathers. Now, with the new birdhouses, I have a ton of feathers. Over 500 still, and I was over 600 before I started making a lot of bone arrows. But as you can see, I have gone through an entire basket and over half of another one already in bones to fill up one basket and a second basket full of just bone arrows and that i still have a full sled of sticks ready to go so i've been trying to spend more time in the base away from the cannibals i also went ahead and did a normal activity like chopping down trees and filled up several sleds full of logs which i've already used some of those logs to produce the new stairs that i have leading down to the beach Okay, as I said, the boss did get updated in this game, and I have not actually gotten to the end game yet. I've just been so enjoying the building, construction, survival part of it that I've kind of gotten away from the storyline for a bit, and I think it's time to finally go ahead and get through the storyline. So my next few episodes, we're going to be working on getting to the end, beating the game, seeing everything we can about the game at that point, and then, fortunately, I know this already, it doesn't ruin the game because you get to a certain point and from that point forward, you cannot save. So you can't go in and save the game and get stuck there. Uh, it makes you automatically revert back to whatever your last save was. So it's actually perfect. So you can continue playing the game even after you beat it. And once I beat the game, I will then have creative mode unlocked and I can start doing my creative mode series where I have some really big plans in uh, store for you. But that's it for this video. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that like button. Also hit subscribe and tick the notification bell so you can keep up with my content during the week. You can also find my content on Facebook and Twitter if you want to follow me there. Be sure to leave a comment and let me know, you know what you like. If you've had any of these same building bugs occur in your game as what I'm showing you here today. Uh, any other bugs that you've noticed that I haven't encountered yet. Be sure to comment below. I'd love to hear about them. And hopefully the developers will see these comments at some point and know to fix these bugs. But that's it for today. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys in the next video.